here's Sniper at the schooling show at Chat Hills. And schooling shows are really great because while at the recognized shows, my horses have a day or two to kind of get settled in, the schooling shows, uh, I tend to come in um, the morning of. So, you know, they don't have too much time to really get settled in and adjust. So it's really good for them to learn to get accl acclimated pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I really enjoy riding this horse. He is uh, a constant professional, so he tends to know how to put his uh, um, working cap on when we're in the ring. And this ring is quite difficult uh, for the young horses because, if you can't see, it's out of view, but horses can be along the top of the hill as well as the gate where horses come in and out is by the uh, corner by M. So... He's doing fairly well. He's a little bit, uh, just maybe a touch unsteady in the bridle. You'll see he kind of goes a little bit up and down. So I changed his bit up a little bit on him, but that this told me that, okay, I should go back to um, the other bit. So I was just playing around to see. But he has such a lovely canter, and I'm really working on getting him to come in through the turns. And then now in the novice test, we have to do a stretchy trot. So again, wanting him to reach down further out with his nose, he still tends to want to curl, but he's giving me a decent stretch. And then you'll see he kind of still opens his mouth a little bit, so still working on that relaxation and connecting through his back. Again, being a young horse, he tends to want to get a little wiggly, but working on keeping him in between my hand and leg. He's actually a funny horse where while he's in the ring, he tends to slow down, which is a fairly nice feeling uh, versus when you have one that tenses up and wants to go faster. Um, also with him, you'll see he kind of likes to cheat where he doesn't necessarily bend in his ribs and he'll let the hind end kind of fall away. So like right there in the corner. Uh, so I have to work a lot on trying to block that with my outside aids. Um, and so there you you saw a little of the resistance because I had to really block with my outside aids and then I lost the bend in the rib cage and then his head came up. Um, but then once I've got him on the canter, I'm really working on getting him to push from behind because he tends to want to collect too much. And now I'm going to ask him down transition. He did that pretty well. And now we're going to come into the walk. And again, we're still, he's still a young horse, he's, so the biggest thing for me is really working on getting them straight, and so they have their balance, and their rhythm, and then everything else kind of falls in place. And he did very, very good. Um, he walked for me. We kind of look a little drunk, <laughs> but again, uh, the gate was at M, but then he straightened right out and walked pretty well. Really trying to get that overstep. And then I'm going to collect him back up. So we trot at A. So I'm trying to keep him focused, make sure that we don't leave. That was pretty good. He came up a little bit. And now we're nearing the end of the or uh, the test. We have to do this little funky line to down the center line. And then we're going to halt straight. He didn't halt square, but that's okay. And I really like to let them kind of sit there and take a deep breath before I let them walk off. And he was a very good boy. We ended up tied for first in our dressage test with a 31.7. Now on to our show jump. And this show jump was actually, even though it's all just plain poles, there were a fair amount of uh, rails that were coming down. And so it was a fairly tight course with a lot of turns. Um, so what I really love about this horse is he has an amazing canter. He's very balanced. Um, and so he's one of my favorite horses in the barn to jump. Um, and he's felt great. Jumped the first fence. Now lots of people have been having rails at this uh, fence number two. And I think it's because horses were getting distracted by going next to the pavilion. So I decided to add with him. And uh, this was a, set, a six stride, and I ended up doing seven, but that was two because I had a tight turn coming right here to this, which was also falling down a fair bit. And you see he handled that quite well. So my exercises at home of changing my lines and kind of 
jumping a couple of things on the angles actually helped me here. And then here again, I balance for the two stride, did that lovely. And then again, I have to balance using my outside aids, jump that nicely, and then coming to the last fence, I set him up a little bit. He was getting a little on the forehand and I wanted him white. Jump that beautifully. So really proud of Sniper. Had a really good practice round. And we ended up staying in first and winning the division. Like that, a piece of cake, guys. For Sharpie, this was a really beneficial practice for us because, again, he's a horse that likes to take a bit of time to settle into new places, so I was really proud at how rideable he was. Um, he's actually been progressing in his flat work kind of day by day and starting to let go of himself a little bit more, so he's moving even better. And he's really starting to opening up through his shoulders a little bit more. Uh, he's getting a little bit more settled. His mouth is still pretty active, but I'm happy with how his balance is coming along. So he's coming up more through the shoulder. He's putting more weight behind on the hind end, um, and his shape is really starting to change. So it's been pretty fun with these guys bringing them along. Um, so there's our second half 10 meter circle. And then we go back to the track. And this is good where I can push the rib cage over in the corner. He still he wants to fall. This is his right side, so this is the harder way for him. He tends to lose his rib cage some. And then we go into the developing length and trot, which he really shocked me. I actually had a little bit of suspension, and then I asked him to come back to the transition. And then we do our stretchy circle, which he started to come out. And stretch over his back a little bit. He kind of hesitated the first half and then gave it to me on the last half. And I lost a little bit of my circle. So it was kind of an odd shaped circle. Um, and then I got him back. So then we had the canter. Did that fairly well. As you can see, he still is a little blocked in the ribs right there. So I was trying to keep him straight. And then developing our lengthen in the canter. You see he's much more freer. Uh, in this test and so now I'm able to sit up and tall through my core and get the transition through my seat in the canter and getting him to, this is a new test for him as well so it was good good to practice here trot over X did that pretty good now I had a little bit of a brain fart and panic because I couldn't remember if I was supposed to canter at F or at K so I just kind of cantered a little bit after F but the transition was supposed to be at K, because that meant I lost some points there. And then again, we do the lengthening in the canter. And still, he was very good going forward. Came right back in the transition. And I know I have to work to keep the kind of shoulder forward. So there you saw, he dropped in a little bit on the corner. And because of that, then they get a little bit quicker. But again, he's listening, trot over X. Trying to keep them straight, think a little leg yield to the letter. And then we walk. Had a really good transition in the walk. I think I got an eight on this medium walk. So for him and his gates, the walk is a really good um, gait for him. And I just have to get him to really stretch out more and take the contact in the free walk. He gets a little distracted, but he's still overstepping quite nicely and swinging. So again, that will come along with, hopefully, more experience. And then we actually have to do a medium walk again for a fair amount of time here, all the way to M. So try to get him to focus and the contact, and then prepare for my transition up. Pretty good. And now I just decided to sit because I have a half 10 meter circle so I can kind of keep balancing him. And I want to think like coming into the halt, you make it smaller, 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 smaller. And then you ask for the halt. Almost square. It was really, really good. One of his best scores, he scored a 30.7 and we were leading the division in the training level. 
So now on to his show jump. And for Sharpie, show jump is again the weakest phase. So something we are constantly working on. Um, and I come to the first fence and he felt pretty good over that. Um, and again, so I had a plan kind of to make sure I could keep him balanced here. And while he's coming along in the dressage of letting his body go, he's still learning how to do that in the show jump. He jumped that line pretty good. And then I had to balance for the turn. And he just flattened out over his back and took that rail. And then again, he uh, hit that one pretty good. We got lucky with that. Um, so he's just getting a little long. He ha he can be have a really long stride. So you see I'm working kind of hard to keep him balanced on the hind end. Especially here. I'm like, whoa, buddy. We have one stride coming up. And I've got to make him ride really slow. And he jumped that pretty good. So I was really happy with how he progressed. We had one rail. And we keep getting better every time that we go. So he finished fourth in his division. And it was great practice for both horses. Is he done yet? I can't do 